Okay, guys, so we are starting on lesson 9.5, page 390, if you want to follow along with me. And I know you're probably thinking, what about 9.4? Well, 9.4 is some stuff that you will get when you get to geometry. And unfortunately, we don't have those tools with us right now while we're at home to do that lesson. So don't feel like you're missing a whole lot. Um, it's not something that you really need right now for algebra. You'll be okay. But this stuff that we're doing right now is very important for algebra. So this is what we're going to do. So first thing is there are some vocab terms in here you definitely need to write down and make sure you understand what these mean. So we are going to be talking about different types of angles. So we started out by talking about shapes and trying to figure out the perimeters and the areas of these. Now we're going to be talking about lines um, and angles. So the first thing is an adjacent angle. An adjacent angle is just when two angles share the same vertex and the vertex is kind of like a point so i'm going to try to draw you an example of what that looks like so if i have two angles right we'll make this a and we'll make this b they share that same vertex this is the vertex so that would be an adjacent angle complementary angles are when the sum of their angles measures 90 degrees. So this is just a special type of adjacent angle. And usually they're gonna put this little box here to tell you that it's a 90 degree angle. And so let's say that now this was A and B. And A and B come together to make a 90 degree angle. So this would be an example of adjacent angles and complementary angles because they add together to equal 90 degrees. Supplementary angles come together to equal 180 degrees, right? A straight line is 180 degrees, in case you didn't know. A triangle is also 180 degrees. So if this were A and this were B, those would be an example of supplementary angles because they come together to equal 180 degrees. And then vertical angles are opposite angles that are formed by intersecting lines and they have the same measure. So if I were to just draw two intersecting lines, right? And made these X and made these Y, right? The X's are vertical angles and the Y's are vertical angles, meaning they have the exact same number. And you might also know that here, X and Y are also supplementary angles because that's a straight line. So those come together to equal 180 degrees. So I know that might have seemed like a lot pretty fast, but I'm going to come back to these definitions as I go through. But it's very helpful if you have them written down. So if I were you, I would pause. I would write them down. I would draw these pictures so that as we go through the examples, you have this to look back on. OK. So I'm going to do the first example here in your book. And there's a lot of words here. Just try to follow along with me. So we're looking at this picture. And you can see there are a lot of points on here, a lot of letters, a lot of lines. We're going to take it one step at a time. So it says, name a pair of adjacent angles, a pair of complementary angles, supplementary angles, and vertical angles from this figure. Now, we'll start with A. What's a pair of adjacent angles? When you are naming angles, you put, you draw like a little angle, right? So you'll notice here how they drew this little angle symbol. And then you are going to write the letters from one side. The point should be in the middle and then the other side. So for example, this is saying angle ABC. That means this angle, A. B is in the middle, C. So that means that's the angle they're talking about, right? So it says, what are two adjacent angles? They said ABC and ABF. And that would be true because remember, adjacent angles just share a vertex. So basically they share a point. So this is angle ABC. This is angle ABF right here. And they share that point of B. So yes, you could have had a bunch of different answers for that one, but that is one correct answer. Then there was, so then there was name some 
complementary angles. So remember, complementary angles are just a type of adjacent angle that has a 90 degree angle. So where do we see a 90 degree angle? I'm going to change the color here. It says angle E, B, C. So that's going to be E, B is in the middle, C is a right angle, right? So you could use the two angles that meet up to add that. That could be E, B, D, and D, B, C, right? Those come together to equal a 90 degree angle. Then it says, let me move that out of the way. Then it says, name supplementary angles. I remember supplementary angles just come together to equal 180 degrees. So any angles that fall together on a straight line. So A, B, C, and D, B, C make a straight angle. So that means that if you were to include ABC and DBC, those would be supplementary angles. So DBC is right here, ABC is right here, and they come together on this straight line, making them supplementary angles, right? And then the last one says vertical angles. So those are just angles that are opposite each other. So ABF, which would be, we're getting a lot of lines in the way here. ABF would be this right here. And CBD would be this right here. And you notice they're completely opposite each other. So they would have the same value. So that's one of the things you're going to have to do to yet today. They're going to give you a shape like this with a bunch of lines and angles, and you're going to pick out what are the angles that are adjacent, what are the ones that are complementary, supplementary, right? And there's more than one right answer. But in order to do this, you need to be able to remember what those different types are. So use the note you took here in a second. So now I'm going to let you practice one of these. Okay, so here is an example problem for you. I want you to try this one. See if you can name pairs of each of the four types of angles, right? And again, there's more than one right answer. So pause, try it, come back. I'm going to give you an example of an answer, um, but you could have had a different answer. So just follow along on how I got that answer. Okay. So first, A. A pair of adjacent angles. Remember, those are just angles that share the same vertex. So I'm going to go with this vertex right here. And let's say angle Q, J, K, which is this one, Q, J, K, and angle, this is my angle symbol, K, J, L which is this angle, and see, they share that same vertex, so those are adjacent angles. So now let's go for B. B is complementary angles. Remember, those are two angles that come to meet a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna use this one right here because I know that's a 90 degree angle because it has that nice little box there for me. So I'll use angle P, J, N, and angle N, J, M. So that's this angle and this angle. They come together to equal that 90 degree angle. Then C, let's erase this off first. C is asking about supplementary angles. And remember, those are angles that come together to equal 180 degrees. So let's do this one. Let's do Q, J, K, right? And then let's do K, J, 
m so this angle right here all right so yes there's an l in the middle but i can just ignore that angle so i'm just talking about these two angles and how they come together on that line right there so that's 180 degrees so that's angle q j k and angle k j m and the last one d raise this out of the way again d is asking about vertical angles and remember those are just angles that are opposite that have the same measurement so i'm going to go with l j m and QJP. So that's these two angles right here, and they have the same measurement. So angle LJM and angle, ah, sorry, QJP. There you go. That is an example of some answers you could have gotten for that one. So now I am on page 391. I'm doing example two, and now we're gonna take what we know about different types of angles and try to figure out some missing values. So we're gonna go back to doing some equations and some of that pre-algebra we did earlier in the year. So first, each of these says, classify the pair of angles and then find the value of x. So. These are two angles that are opposite each other. And remember, angles that are opposite each other have the same measurement. So since this one's 70, that means x is 70. So that's the value of x. And also, opposite angles are vertical. So two parts to this answer. You should have had vertical angles, and you should have had x is 70. Let's do another one. Now let's look at this one. Again, we're saying what kind of angles they are and what is the value of x. So, first, these are angles that come together to one point, right? So they are adjacent angles because they come together at one vertex, but they're also complementary angles because you notice that little square there, meaning that this is 90 degrees. So it's both their adjacent angles and complementary angles, right? But now we need to figure out what x is. So we're gonna to need to do an equation. If we know they add up together to equal 90 degrees, then 31 plus x plus four equals 90 degrees, right? That's where this came from. Then remember you need to distribute that one to get rid of those parentheses. So you'd have x plus four plus 31, which is the same as x plus 35 equals 90. Now you need to get rid of that 35. It's addition, so you're gonna subtract 35 from both sides x equals 55. So for this, you would have had to put adjacent angles, complementary angles, and x equals 55. We'll do another. So let's look at this one now. Same thing. So these angles are adjacent because they come together to one point, right? So they're adjacent, that's that one point, but they're also supplementary because they come together to equal 180 degrees, because remember 180 degrees is a straight line. So you should have adjacent and supplementary angles. But now we need to figure out what X is. We know it equals 180 degrees, so X plus four minus X equals 180. But now we need to distribute that one. We would end up with X plus x minus 4. Combine your like terms, so you'd have 2x minus 4. Get rid of that 4. So add the 4 to both sides since it's subtracting. You would end up with, add, you would end up with 2x equals 184. Get rid of that 2. You're going to divide both sides by 2. You end up with x equals 92. So you should have had all three of those. So now I'm going to give you some that you're going to try and you're going to check your answers. So I want you to pause and try these. Classify the pairs of angles into all the categories they fit into and then tell me what the x value is. So now let's go over these and then we'll be done. So number two, the first one we have here, what kind of angles do we have here? Right? 
Well, they meet at one point, so they're adjacent angles, right? So they're adjacent angles because they meet at that same point there in the middle. They also add together to equal a straight line, so that's 180 degrees, meaning they are also supplementary angles. And now we need to figure out what is x. Since it's a straight line, it's 180 degrees, so we know 85 plus x equals 180, right? Solve for x, subtract that 85, all right, that cancels out. We end up with x equals 95. Then for three, we're saying, what are those pairs of angles? The 90 degree angle and the x. So those guys are going to be vertical. They're opposite, right? And since they're vertical, they have the exact same measurement. Remember that square tells you it's 90 degrees? So x is 90 degrees. And then four, these guys come together to equal a point. So again, they're adjacent. And also, since they equal a 90 degree angle, they're complementary. And now we need to figure out what is x. We know they equal a 90 degree angle, so x plus 2x minus 3 equals 90. We distribute that one, so we end up with x plus 2x minus 3 equals 90. Combine our terms, so that's 3x minus 3 equals 90. Add the 3 to both sides. I'm going to continue up the top because I'm running out of space. That cancels out, so we end up with, I'm going to write at the top, 3x equals 93. Get rid of that 3. Our answer is x equals 31. There you go. So that is lesson 9.5.